China's reports most severe heat wave and third dry summer on records. China records its highest temperatures and one of its lowest level of rainfall in 61 years during a two-month summer heat wave that caused forest fires, damages crops, and hit power supplies. The National Meteorological Agency said. The average national temperature in August is 22.4 Celsius, was 1.2 Celsius higher than the seasonal norm, while average rainfall fell 23 percent to 82 millimeters, the third lowest since records began in 1961, according to Xiao Chan, the vice director of China's National Meteorological Administration. He told reporters that 267 weather stations across China recorded their highest temperatures in history last month. The heat wave between mid-June to the end of August was the most severe since records began in terms of duration, extent, intensity, and impact," said Xiao. The extreme temperature caused widespread droughts in region along Jiangtai River, southwestern China, and east and central Tibet. The persistent heat and drought caused forest fire and affected agricultural production, water resources, and power supply. Xiao said, "The Yangtze is the world's third largest river, providing drinking water to more than 400 million Chinese people, and is the most vital water to China's economy." Meanwhile, severe rainstorm hit various region, including northern and southern China. Lightning, strong wind, and hail hit 13 provinces and region, including Inner Mongolia and Yunnan, in August. The agency said it issued 65,000 weather alerts, mostly for extreme heat, in August, 26 percent, up from the same time last year. Officials told a press briefing they expected above-average temperature to continue throughout September. And warn that fire prevention and strategic agricultural plans must be made to cope with the situation. The Meteorological Administration last month deployed 75 flight to cloud seeding drones to induce artificial rain over 1.45 meter square kilometers in southern China to alleviate the drought. China was warned that extreme weather will probably persist in coming years. As it tries to cope with the climate crisis and rising temperatures, the record-breaking droughts has caused some rivers in China, including parts of Jiangtze, to dry up, affecting hydropower, halting shipping, and forcing major company to suspend operation. The loss of water flows in China's extension hydropower system has sparked a grave situation in Sichuan, which gets more than 80 percent of its energy from hydropower. Last month, the southwestern province of Sichuan said it would ration power supplies to home, office, and shopping malls after already having ordered its producer of energy-intensive metals and fertilizers to curb operation. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.